Hey everyone, I'm Bill. I'm with Kelly Moto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Turtle Rock. We're here again. And welcome back to 2023 BMW M1000R. Finally unlocked. We were just at ANS yesterday and got its first service. So we're going to talk about the bike now that it's been unlocked. And I went ahead and threw on the Leo Vinci uh, slip on for now just to give you guys a little bit more verbal out of this bike because that big Akupovic uh, exhaust was pretty, uh, pretty um, quiet. So this has got a little bit more, a uh, little bit more sound out of it. Um, let's talk about this. I'm pissed off at BMW because I have the low pressure tire sensor thing off and um, this thing's gonna just flash at me the whole time um, because I'm below what BMW thinks um, I should have my tire pressures at. So let me rant about this to BMW. BMW, this is a truck bike, you guys. You guys are promoting this as a truck bike. Every single picture, every single video that I've seen is you guys on the truck with this thing. And I would never run 41 rear and 38 front tire pressure on the truck. As a matter of fact, I run cold, 19 in the rear, and 32 in the front uh, from the truck. So this thing's gonna just sit and flash at me the whole time. So it's a little irritating that I asked for it to be turned off and all you guys did was turned off the little message that makes me, you know, anyways. The service has been done, you guys, and we are unlocked finally. And well, I decided, if you guys don't know, there are two maps that BMW now offers. They offer their standard map, and then they off offer this torque optimization map. Now, I decided to go with the torque optimization map because I've never tried it before, and it's supposed to have a little bit more torque shift for the uh, mid-range that still sucks balls. Uh, there's still nothing between, you know, like five, 6,000 RPMs and eight, 9,000 RPMs. It's just, especially in second gear, it's like, look what's, I'm full wide open throttle right there. Like full wide open throttle. So uh, it'll be fixed. Friend tunes coming in clutch. We've got everything. Uh, actually got delivered. We've got headers. We've got uh, all kinds of stuff that's going on the bike this week. So stay tuned. I'm not sure how much DIY video I'm going to do on this bike only because I've done DIY videos on the S1000R. And basically we're just going to be doing the same exact thing. So I'm going to be referencing it. Of course, I'll shoot some videos of us hanging out in the garage, but uh, as far as a full DIY, I'll be linking uh, the already DIY stuff that I have. So I went with the M, uh, the uh, torque optimization map, which shifts the um, horsepower around, apparently. And uh, it's something about the noise regulations and uh, this and that. And they gave me this little sticker. If you guys are starting to get your new bikes and there's a little sticker right down here, it's a little teeny square sticker. And there's two sets of numbers, something about uh, like 6,750 RPMs or 7,300 RPMs. Um, I removed it because I didn't know what the hell that meant. And it was just like this little teeny square sticker. And so I removed it already. Well, when I went to the dealer, they gave me a new sticker that, uh, that states, and basically it's an identifier of what map is in this bike. Ooh. So, so it can identify that it's the M Torque, I think it's called an M Torque optimization map. So, I'm, uh, now you guys know I come off the S1000R and I love that bike so flippin' much. And I really wanted to give you guys a good opinion of the bike 
after I got this thing unlocked, a lot of people were like, how do you compare it? How do you, and I, and I really couldn't compare it. Um, but what I will say from the 50 or 60 miles that I've ridden this today, I would take my S1000R tuned by Bren Tune, full exhaust and everything over this bike hands down. Uh, it just, I, I don't like how this motor, it's so, it, it's hard to say this because people are like, you're crazy, but it's not very powerful. Like it's not like, oh my God. Like my S1000R is, like my S1000R is like, holy shit. But you know, coming with, coming with, you know, what should be 40 more horsepower, I don't, I don't feel 40 horsepower at all. Now mine's obviously tuned and I haven't been able to get on the dyno. And I know you guys are gonna ask and I'm just gonna say, I, I do not have a dyno. I don't have anybody, I can't find anybody that will dyno these bikes for me. Uh, there's just nobody in the area. I literally called three or four places the other day and everyone's like, nah, we don't do that anymore. So, um, so I, I can't get you guys numbers. I've seen some numbers. Uh, Brent Toon's got numbers. So if you guys want numbers, you know, follow Brent Toon. He's got stock numbers. He's got tune numbers. But that's, um, that's really going to be your best bet because a little verbal. Um, I'm, I'm just not going to be able to get uh, numbers, which I really am disappointed on because I would love to get my S1000R uh, numbered and, and dynoed and numbered right now uh, as it sits because I, I, I love that bike. I really, honestly, I do. And I'm going to gear this down one probably. Uh, it really is decent, but my uh, S1000R is a lot more playful and gearing down just a little bit. I don't like how this gear is like, uh, second and third gear, there's just, uh, I, I would rather it, I would, I'd rather have a little bit more drive out of my third and especially fourth gear. So, uh, we'll be doing that. But uh, exhaust uh, came in from Manny over at Moto Millions. He's also sent me uh, the gas cap, the chain uh, axle adjusters, uh, radiator guards. So we'll be getting that stuff all installed this week, along with, uh, again, the header and this exhaust. Let's head out to Rutherford. Give you guys a little bit more ride, and then I think I'll, I'll shoot a bonus ride on the back, on the way back. Uh, let's see. Oh, if you guys are wondering what service cost on this, uh, $375 was how much I got charged for the oil change and the, uh, and the first service where basically they just go through the bike, make sure everything is, is set and everything. Obviously update the new map, update the bike with the new map, take the rev limiter off and, uh, check and make sure there's nothing wrong with the bike and... There's something wrong with the bike. Uh, they have, they discovered yesterday that there's a small seepage oil leak behind the sprocket cover, and uh, they're having to oil, uh, order a um, new gasket or something. So, bummer, I've got to take the bike back to ANS for some warranty work already, but it's, uh, it's not major. He showed me it yesterday. Uh, I asked him, I says, hey, is this a concern of me riding it? Should I not be riding it? And uh, he's like, no, you can ride it. It's just, you know, you can see over 400 miles. Uh, that's how many we've got now. Um, that the, uh, it just seeped a little bit and, and dribbled down. So he cleaned it up and he says, you know, it's, couple, you know, next week I should, uh, they should have it. So we'll get it in there and just fix it up. Uh, it's a couple couple hour job or an hour and a half job or something like that so nothing major so uh that was kind of a bummer and then uh let's see this week 
uh, again, after during the prep and everything, I'm pulling out the RV this weekend and heading down to Button Willow for Let's Ride on Monday, May 8th. So in a week's time, we'll be down at Button Willow. So excited for that. And uh, let's see. That's this kind of Oh, we did get the suspension dialed in by Dave Boss. Uh, so right now, we're running in uh, Pro Mode, uh, Race Pro Mode 1, race, race Pro Mode 2 is for the track, so this is for the street. Uh, and then of course we've got our, um, you know, race and dynamic and stuff like that, so, um, We'll talk about it in the future about the, the menu selections and what BMW has done on this, which I don't personally like. I don't know why BMW keeps doing this. Uh, everyone has gone away from what BMW is doing. Uh, I've been complaining about it for the last three years since my 2020, but uh, we'll talk about the suspension. But here we are out at Rutherford, a quick little rip on the M1000R. Go ahead and get right here. Take one look at this thing. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I just don't, it's, it's, it's hard to, I love the S1000R so much. Uh, uh, you guys compare, all right, so comparison. How do I like this compared to the Street Fighter? How do I like this compared to the Tuano? How do I like this compared to my S1000R so far? Um, I like my S1000R better than anybody. Um, I would probably take my, personally, my Street Fighter before I started having suspension issues, my Street Fighter before this right now, but that was tuned, exhausted, and everything. Um, I would take this bike over a Tawano, personally, and I would take this bike over uh, any of the Jot bikes, personally. So, um, yeah, so there we go. That's what we have to deal with on the way back. We'll have to get past those guys for now, but... Uh, and uh, yeah, so the BMW M1000R is here. It's unlocked. Last time you guys will see this aero titanium exhaust. I'm excited for the titanium because it's going to blew up really, really nice down there. I'm going to leave it open. I'm not going to put a belly pan down there. So we're going to keep that exhaust open. And uh, we've already upgraded the brake pads. I love the brake, the, just the brake pads. Just the brake pad swap was a big difference, big help. And um, and then again, we've got the chain adjusters in the back. And then we've got to swap out these tires and get all ready for the, uh, the track day next week. So thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you for joining me on the journey with the M1000R. Do the normal, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and then ring the bell notification. Bell notification is going to give you future notification of future content here on the channel. But uh, we got a lot of guys coming. So let's go ahead and hit a bonus ride back and see, what we can, uh, see if we can ring this thing's neck and... Uh, Get a little sound out of it and a little music to your guys' ears. <laughs>